Earlier this year at the Maybank Championship in Malaysia, Fabrizio Zanotti claimed a remarkable victory. Starting the final day six shots behind the Masters champion Danny Willett, the Paraguayan birdied and eagled his way to a closing round 63 to claim a second European Tour title. The win was secured with an astonishing finishing run as Fabrizio shot five under par for the final six holes. I was playing really good that week. I was uh, mentally, I think I was really calm and just trying to do my own game. And, and on Sunday, it was the same. I just go there and, and play play my best, didn't try too hard to, you know, when, when you don't try too, too hard, sometimes it's easier. So yes, I started making some birdies, birdies. and then at the end, that uh, the final four holes, the, the, the stretch with birdie in 15, 17 and eagle 18 was, was really good. His putter was certainly working nicely, as Fabrizio hold this curling putt for birdie at the 15th to move to six under on his round. He then faced a tricky side hill lie on his approach to the 17th, but produced an excellent shot and left himself with a 10-foot straight-ish putt. Normally when, when you're playing in front of the last groups and, and we start to make birdies, I think Bird, with Berger, he started really good. So he was putting some numbers there. I was a little more at the end, but I think when I, when I, when I hold that pattern on number 15, I thought uh, I have a good chance if, if I make two more birdies. And I made birdie and one birdie and one eagle, so it was enough. Probably with two birdies I was going to be in the playoff, but with the birdie and the eagle it was enough. It could come back. It could come back. This could be unbelievably close. And he has that for an eagle. This for a three to get to 19 under par for Fabrizio Zanotti, and he's made it! What a round of goal from the little Paraguayan! It's tough to win for the first time, but then the second one, you need to do it again just to, to show that it was not a coincidence, the first one. Or um, I don't know, I was struggling a, a little with my golfing. Some a lot of up and downs, having good weeks, but a lot of bad weeks also. And, and then I make a, a, um, at the end of last year, I changed my coach and we changed a, a few things and I'm really happy with those things we changed. Golf in Latin America is definitely growing and with the support of bodies like the RNA, the USGA and the Masters Tournament, more events are being established, offering youngsters an alternative to the number one sport of soccer. Normally, you know, Latin America is like a football. It's like football is everything and if when you see it on other sports, get better and start growing a little is good. It's like in, in Paraguay, you have a lot of kids now and, it's, and the game is growing and that's really good because normally you just see the kids just trying to play football and, or maybe tennis, but golf is not very popular and now it's getting, getting more popular and, and I feel really good because of that because maybe with my performances, I help a little to the kids so they can pick golf other from and not pick other sports.